The National Assembly, through a Gazette notice issued this Wednesday, is inviting Kenyans from across the 47 counties to present their views, either written or oral, for the impeachment motion of the Deputy President Rigathi Gashago on the 4th of October 2024. Residents of Nairobi will converge at KICC, while those residing in Kiambu County will march all the way to the Kiambu Hall, among other designated places. Whether you support the ouster motion of embattled Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa or not, you now have a chance to make your opinion count. This is after the National Assembly issued a Gazette notice on Wednesday, inviting the public to make oral or written submissions during the public hearing set to be held on Friday this week across the country. For residents of Nairobi County, their point of convergent venues include Kenyatta International Convention Center, while Kiambu County county residents will meet at Kiambu Social Hall. The process is the part of the constitutional requirement under Article 182 of the Constitution, which mandates Parliament to facilitate citizen engagement in such processes. The moment of reckoning awaits Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa will then have a date with the members of the National Assembly on 8th of October this month to fight for his dear life as his fate squarely hangs on the balance. Gashagwa's two years tenure has been bedeviled by a frosty relationship with his boss, President William Ruto, with Ruto's allies trading their guns on the second most powerful man in the land, accusing him of disrespecting the president and sabotaging of government from within. Gashago is also accused of violating Articles 147, 148, 174, 186, and 189 of the Constitution, which speaks to his conduct and responsibility as the principal assistant to the president. The DP is further accused of corruptly and unlawfully acquiring assets using taxpayers' money, among other charges. I will be demonstrating before for this house to Kenyans and to the international community. On Tuesday, Kibwezi West, Member of Parliament Mwengi Mutise, used the same grounds to table a motion to impeach Gashagwa in the National Assembly, supported by the staggering number of 291 lawmakers who appended their signature to the motion. The Speaker, as members will realize, the particulars of these grounds are that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has engaged himself in acts of omission and commission that constitute offenses under our constitution, offenses under international law, and offenses under our own statutes. For now, it's race against time to make your submission count as Geoffrey Rigathi Gashagwa goes down in history as the first sitting deputy president to face an impeachment motion. Whether he survives or not, only time will tell. Ahuma Evans for KUTV, Nairobi.